has expired. Senator Milne. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. Well, I rise this afternoon to uh, absolutely uh, support this debate uh, on the failure of the Abbott government to adequately respond to the tragic incident on Manus Island that led to the death of Reza Barati and the serious injury of many other asylum seekers. It is about time that the hypocrisy that we have heard in this place uh, is brought to the fore. What we need, Mr Acting Deputy President, is a royal commission into what has occurred. We need an inquiry which has judicial powers, which can, which can bring the documents, bring the evidence, give, give witnesses the protection they need. But there is not, there is not uh, a will in this place to have the truth in its total be told. And that is because the Labor Party in government reopened Manus Island and made all kinds of claims in this place. You just go back to the debate, and I was reading it through, and I wonder how Senator Lundy feels now when you look at the claims that she made defending the government, defending the Gillard government at the time, saying that all of the conditions would be met, that this would meet our human rights obligations. Uh, she listed all of the things that would occur. She gave endless undertakings, all wrong. And now, of course, then we had the next uh, Prime Minister, Rudd, engaged in the Memorandum of Understanding, and now we have disgraceful behaviour from the current minister and government, and the cruelty goes on to the point where Reza Barati is dead. And I have used the word murder in his case because what else do you call a situation when a person is in the direct care of the government of Australia and they are dead inside the compound and reports of people stomping on people's heads? That is not an accident. That is what do you call that if there is not an intent? And now I get to the reports that uh, Senator Carr mentioned this morning on the uh, question of whether G4S staff are to blame for the Manus violence and the reports that the G4S guards allegedly opened the doors of the camp to a local dog squad and PNG police and so on and so forth. They are the reports, but I want to go to a more fundamental question because I'm sick of hearing this in this place. We are supposedly breaking people. We're destroying their mental health. We're ending up with Reza Barati dead, 70 people in hospital, bashings, cruelty. And why? Because we're stopping people from drowning. That's why. Well, that is rubbish. This is not about stopping people drowning, and it's about time that truth was told to power. That is outrageous. Order. And I want to go Order. to that point here right now. Order what has right. this government done? What has this government or the last government done, Mr Acting Deputy President, or Mr Deputy President, sorry, uh, what has this government done? What has this government done to help people not get on boats? Number one, have you put more money into the UNHCR in Indonesia to assist? No, cut the funding. What about the humanitarian intake? Under the last government there was a promise to increase it, and what have you done? Decreased it decreased the humanitarian intake from right. 20,000 to 13,750, decreased the humanitarian intake, decreased the money in Indonesia. All this talk about people worrying about people drowning, that is not the case. You have never, you have never supported upholding safety of life at sea in that convention. When or, we question, order, Senator Milne. Um, Senator Sazelja, I've noted your name is on the list. Uh, you'll have an opportunity later. Senator Milne, you have the call. Thank you, and I appreciate that, Mr Deputy President, because when the CIVX sank, 353 people died. Why? Because the Howard government had stopped a program of allowing family reunion. Women and children were on that boat because they had no other way of joining the rest of their family in Australia. That was a policy decision designed to stop families being together, and people had no hope uh, except to be on that boat. And to this day, we do not know whether they were allowed to drown. That is a question I have asked for very many years. I am not. I am Order making on this my very right. clear. Order. It is not Order. shameful. It is truthful. Order. And Senator Bernardi, you are also on the list. I have noticed. Uh, so uh, you will have an opportunity to comment. 
Senator Milne, you have Thank you, Mr Deputy President. To this day, the survivors of the Civex say that a ship came and si put lights on the water. They started shouting and swimming towards the lights. The lights went off and they went away. That is what the survivors say. Well, what did Australia know about where they were? Why weren't the ships dis uh, absolutely dispatched to rescue them? To this day, every inquiry we've tried to get up into the Civex has been blocked, and so it goes on. We're involved in a cover-up. We're Order. involved in a cover-up here on what has gone on on Manus Island, and I say that because you have Prime Minister O'Neill in PNG saying that all under the agreement all media queries related to this deceased transferee are being handled by the Australian government. You have to direct your queries to Canberra, etc. Then here uh, we have the government, uh, uh, Australian government statements saying. Uh, this is actually a matter for the police in PNG, so our role has been to support the PNG police in the investigation of a crime and any matters that follow in relation to an autopsy or a coronial inquest are matters for the PNG government, and we've provided all the support that has been required for that. It's not a matter that is within our control. So here we are. The Australian government puts in a detention centre, does its memorandum of understanding, says it's going to be in control, says it can guarantee safety, then disaster occurs and it immediately says, oh, it's actually up to the PNG government. The PNG government brings out a statement saying, oh, it wasn't our police. No, everything on our end was fine. This is a cover-up, and that's why we need a royal commission, actually, to get to the bottom of it. But we need to close that centre right now. If you had any sense of decency and humanity, that's what you do. And I want to congratulate the academics—500 of them today—who have signed an open letter to Prime Minister Tony Abbott. And they say, they say, we believe that the current approach to dealing with asylum seekers arriving by boat, especially offshore detention and claims determination, is seriously flawed and unsustainable. It breaches Australia's international ob legal obligations, including its obligations as a party to the Refugee Convention. It demonstrably harms the physical and psychological health of detainees. And furthermore, it seriously undermines the status and good name of Australia as an international citizen. We call on the Australian government to close the detention centres on Manus Island and in Nauru immediately. Yours sincerely, signed by 500 academics in all kinds, all kinds of uh, academic pursuit around the country. And I congratulate them and I urge every Australian to stand up to this. It is a cover-up. We need it to be opened right up, but immediately we need Manus Island and Nauru to be closed. This is a disgrace to the nation. And in future, people are going to look back and say, how did this parliament allow this to continue? And frankly, Liberal and Labor are complicit in keeping Manus open and in keeping this an internal inquiry when it needs to be a royal commission. Thank you, Senator Mill.